If you guys remember right, a few videos back, I was working on a CRF 450 carburetor. This one right here. So I took it all apart to clean it up and I realized it needed a few parts. So I ordered those things up. They showed up a few days ago and now it is time to put it back together. But first, I'm gonna show you how this thing came apart. So as the carburetor sits right now, it's all apart, cleaned up, and ready to go. Everything checked out fine, except for the accelerator pump diaphragm. As you can see, the rubber is coming apart pretty good on this diaphragm here. So I ended up ordering a complete new accelerator pump, along with some float bowl screws, since the old ones were a bit stripped. I'm pretty sure I had checked these jets earlier to make sure they were free and clear, but it doesn't hurt to check again. So if you hold the jet up to a light, you should be able to see through the center of it. So this is the pilot jet. Looks like the hole is nice and clear. Move on to the main jet here. Yep, that one looks good too. And then we've got one last jet. I always forget what this one is called but that one looks good to go as well. So now I'm ready to put this guy back together. I'm gonna to start out at the throttle assembly. So we've got the slide here, the pulley, and the plate that goes on the back of the slide. Before I go any further, I gotta cover something that's really important with these FCR carburetors. So with the plate and the slide, it would make sense that the plate goes on like this, right? I mean, it kind of matches up with the uh, shape of it there, but it actually goes the opposite way around. And that's pretty important. I want to say it was like six or seven years ago, but my brothers and I were working on a CRF 250 and we had the plate the wrong way around, just like this. The bike just ran terrible. We couldn't figure out what was going on until we did some research and realized we had the plate installed backwards. So learn from our mistake and get it right the first time around. 
All right, to start things off, I'm gonna install the throttle slide. So when you take it apart, there's always this one wheel that comes off. So don't forget about that. So the slide goes in with the plate facing the front of the carburetor. So I'm gonna flip it around and slide it in. Next up is the pulley and the spring. So the spring hooks onto this little tab right here, goes into a groove and just locks in like that. So we have two bearings here for the pulley. And obviously with bearings, you wanna make sure they're nice and greased up. On the pulley side of the carburetor, there's a few washers that go right here. So if you apply some grease around the hole, it'll help assembly go a little bit easier. Of the two washers I mentioned, we have a nylon one and a steel one. So the nylon one goes first, followed by the steel. This is where the grease comes in handy. So you can stick it to the side of the carburetor here. That'll help assembly go a little bit easier. So I've got the washers in place. Now I'm gonna slide up the slide here and hook on this part to the slide. And this is what the pulley attaches to. Now it's time to pop in the pulley. Gotta make sure the pulley goes through both washers here and then this arm that attaches to the slide. And I think before you slide the pulley all the way through the arm, if you can get this spring seated to where it needs to be, works a little bit easier that way. What I'm gonna do is push this accelerator pump arm out of the way, like so, and then slide the spring into place. A little groove here where it fits in, right there, that notch. So the hook of the spring, the one that's spinning, right? Let me show you guys. That little hook matches up with that groove. So push the spring all the way down, and then you can slide the pulley all the way in. And then of course, lining up the spring and the pulley right there. That's where it should be. And then as you're pushing in the pulley the rest of the way, you're gonna have to spin it a little bit to get it into place. All right, right there, it's all the way seated. You can see that the hole on the pulley and the arm line up now. All right, once you have that screw in, let's test things out, make sure it's working properly. All that feels pretty good. Now I can install the cap. Now we're on to the bottom side of the carburetor. I'm gonna start out by assembling the floats and needle. The needle valve just slips right onto this little tab on the floats, just like so. And I find if you kind of hold pressure on it from the top with your finger, kind of hold it into place, and then you can slip it right down where it needs to be. And then there's this little pin that slides through the carburetor, through the floats, and holds everything into place. As for the jets, the first one I'm going to install is the main jet. And then I've got the pilot jet. This one goes on the hole on the front side of the carburetor. The last jet is referred to as the starter jet. And this one goes on the back hole. Now before I forget, they supplied me with a new rod for the accelerator pump. Now the one that's in here is perfectly fine, but since I have a new one, might as well replace it. 
out of all the things I've done to bikes throughout the years, this is actually one thing I have not done yet, is replace the accelerator pump rod. So it looks like the rod slides up through here and pops into this little plastic housing. So to pop it out, I'm gonna push up on the, the arm here and it should pop out. Just like that. Now the rod can be slid out through the bottom and in goes the new rod. Slide it up and snap it into place. The next thing on the checklist is to get this accelerator pump back together. I'm gonna dab a little bit of grease right here just to keep the O-ring in place for when I install the cover. Might as well do it to this one as well. Before I throw on the float bowl, I'm gonna thread in the fuel screw. So you wanna make sure you have a spring, a little washer, and an O-ring on the end. So I'm gonna thread it all the way in, and then go two turns out. That's usually a good starting point. So right there is all the way in, and then I'm gonna go two out. So half, one, one and a half, and there is two. It's float bolt time. Gonna make sure this O-ring is in place. And then it's ready to go on. The last couple of things to install are the choke, got the hot start plunger and cap, throttle cover, idle adjustment screw, and all the hoses. This carburetor is all back together, and this thing turned out really good. So freaking fresh. I love seeing the final product. So it's actually available on the website right now. If any of you guys are looking for an 02-06 to CRF450 carburetor, head over to revivemoto.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.